Welcome back, I'm Coach Rose, and today let's talk about moving your head. There are three parts to defense. Moving your head, moving your feet, and blocking with your gloves. Today let's go over moving your head. This is very important and something you need to learn from the beginning, and it carries on throughout your career. So there's two parts to moving your head. There's slipping, and then there's ducking. When you duck, you bend at the knees, you have your chin down, keep your eyes on your opponent, and back up. You don't need to go real low. You only need to go low enough to go under a punch. Make sure you don't bend at the waist when you go down. This will put you out of position, it will set you up for an uppercut, it causes all kinds of problems. So you're bending at the knees with your chin down, peaking peeking at your opponent. Also, you can work on your ducking uh, close near the mirror. When you're slipping, you're slipping straight punches. You want those punches to go right over your shoulder. And again, you don't need to move all the way over here. It's unnecessary. You just want to move just enough to slip the punch. That way, you come back into throwing position. Slipping side to side. When you slip, make sure you take your gloves with you. You don't want to slip outside your gloves. You're moving your hands with your head. So a good drill for you to do is to slip your way up to the mirror and then when you get to the mirror now you're inside on your opponent and you're going to start ducking because you're slipping straight punches and you're ducking under hooks. Uppercuts you're catching with your gloves and your arms. Start on the outside, slip your way in Now once you've established a pretty good rhythm and you're comfortable with your head movement, then it's time to work on being completely random moving your head. You never want to be predictable to your opponent. Head movement is a very important part of your defense. So practice, train hard, and I'll see you next time.